Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Authentic Sounds. My name is Wim Winters and today I want to share with you uh, some elements of the last uh, uh, session about the inventory and the drawing of the Fritz Pianoforte 1816. And for those of you who haven't seen the previous video, I will put up a link in the video and below so you can check it out. So here you see the uh, Pianoforte. We started with the bottom and you see the computer. I made the drawings and Joris was measuring, which is interesting because you can, as you measure, you can keep your mind and your concentration with only uh, looking and, and, and reading and thinking, while the one who is drawing is creating a new reality. And, and in that respect, there is a kind of a dialogue that is between the person who is measuring and the person who is drawing. Since measuring a piano or anything is rather difficult in the sense that you have to make interpretations all the time. This piano is almost 200 years old. No corner is straight uh, since there's tension on an instrument like this. So nothing what was straight is straight anymore. It's no problem for the instrument as it is. Although with these Viennese pianos you can have serious problems. And certainly if your instrument is six and a half octave, then the tension becomes very high. I will show you in the drawing. Here you see the, the bottom of the piano, of course, without the bottom actually. it's it's. Uh, it's preserved, but uh, it's not attached to the instrument anymore. The only thing that is uh, as a square corner, this backside with this piece of wood. So this is of course a very important uh, piece to start with the document. The green lines are all made with this triangle. Let's show you again. So we have put the first position of this triangle was, let's, let's look for a picture here was in this position. So, and this is second place for the triangle, just to measure the front of, of the instrument, which is surprisingly, for me, not for yours, but it's not straight. You see 16 millimeters that the treble part is coming outside the instrument. So, to measure all these um, parts, you have, of course, you need reference points and these green lines we're providing them for these main parts. It's of course very important. If you uh, make a drawing for means of reconstruction, then yeah, you can imagine when you have a wrong position of this element and the rest is also problematic. So remeasuring, recalculating, rethinking, and sometimes it fits two different uh, measurements. Sometimes it doesn't, but you always have to make interpretations. It is as if you m is the one who is measuring that and that for, for that reason it's important that the builder is measuring the instrument and do the documentation. You have to make the blueprint while measuring without interpreting too much because you can see also your own reality which is not always the reality of uh, Fritz 1816. So. Uh, I show you some other pictures. You see Joris measuring, double checking. Actually here, looking at the drawing and see if this bending of the backside is correct. Here you see uh, using another device to measure the degrees. And with these little papers, we were writing with pencil on the instrument so keeping it clean for the next generation is it's what we intend to do uh, keeping this instrument as it is uh, so we will not use any of the original parts we leave it as it is but it's, it's a way too important document and of course in the museum where this instrument will be in a playable or not playable condition you can imagine that even with this bottom part glued on the instrument would be impossible to see all this. So this is really an, a gift. And that was it for, uh, for this update. Next time, as we're looking here at a painting of Beethoven by Barretta, Flemish painter, not so known, but intriguing figure. 
So that was it for today. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we'll see or hear each other very soon again. Bye.